This is I and I'm on my way to Linstead to spend Mother's Day with my mom, my sisters, my brother, with my family. to be back home to spend Mother's Day with my mother and my family. Miss Vicky Medea! Mother's Day with my mom, Miss Vicky. I love her dearly. She means a lot to me. This woman is my hero, my inspiration. And I'm definitely going to spend this very special day with her. I'm Victoria Edwards, Natalie's mom. We all know her as high high. Well, I'm glad to be back home. It feels really, really good to be back home with my family, you know. Spending Mother's Day with my mother and my brothers and sister, my family, even my neighbor, everybody come over and we have this nice vibe. He's really good and brings back a lot of memory. It brings back a lot of memory. When, when I was here, we played together. We, we, we have fun times, the good times and the bad times together. I'm a mother of 11 kids. And then now, this one, Camille, Camille is coming like a light of my life. You understand? I, after having Camille in my belly, I dream I see this woman. And this one was moving on this side of the cloud from that side, from that side to that side of the cloud. And she was saying something like, oh yes, this, I don't know. But anyhow, I reached another, two months after that, I went to hospital an hour. When I went up there, the nurse was giving me a lot of problems, man. And lady, sit down here and write in there. I said, nurse, I can't stay, you know? I can't stay. Right in there, I have to go in there. And then we go in there, and then we started to eventually have to come in. When the nurse came in, I said, I'll be in there. The nurse said to me, lay down. I said, no, I'm not laying down. I want to see the baby, and when I look around the baby, I say, oh yes, me see the baby already, you know? Me dream see her already. Yes, you was, and then you understand me. Okay, her pressure go up. My pressure went up, and yeah, that Miss, her nurse was there, and yeah, Miss Sweet Baby. Miss Sweet Baby said to me, let she talk, where you see the baby, where you see the woman and do? And I tell her, I see the woman and walk and walk and talk like I talk about the element. This tall black woman is a jungle plant. And then she said to the other nurse, not a thing to do her, she dreams here, her baby. And then said to me, say, you see that baby? That baby is going to bring it to victory. You must take care of her. Yeah, that's done, so. has been my main motivation and my inspiration also because when I think back on the things that I've been through with my mom and how she has raised the 11 of us and without a father, it wasn't easy, it was a rough, rough road and but yet we, we made it and I'm, I'm really grateful for everything. So his mama and just comes back, the video just plays right back and and recap all that has happened before. So yeah. I really love that song. It is that song, I mean, that is like a one-shot song for me also in the studio. Because it comes so naturally, it flows so well that 
I, I didn't really have to think much about it. That's why that song means a lot to me. Being a mother of 11 kids, it's hard to grow them up. Grow them with discipline and manners. You don't have no teeth, you know, have none of them are rob man outside and come in. You understand? I really try my best to grow them the best. And I always tell them about God, never. No matter what you do, don't do not that God forsake you. Or God turn him back on you. You understand? Everything you do, you must do it in the sight of God. Make God bless you, no matter what. Growing up with my brothers and sister, we had fun. I mean, you know, we got already growing up as a child. We would do rude things. I would have bought something. And I like, man. Our mommy sometimes just rush in and just, just start lick from left and right. But I love my brothers and sister. And I love my mom dearly because she groomed us well. Because we, we didn't have that father figure. My dad passed very early and she had 11 of us to groom and to grow and to mold. That's a huge task, um, especially for a woman to be growing like six guys. Was it, was it very hard for you oh to grow God, us? It was like, tough, it was tough, but tough, how tough you, time. You give her a lot of problems. <laughs> you give a lot of problems. Send it to shop and sometimes the one money you come back and say it lasts. Oh my God, we're going to make it. Oh, we're gonna make it, but anyhow, God will provide some way. Some, sometimes we're going to make a bag, we find something, we say, go on the shop, provide some, and I'll come again. Make a flour, like a sugar, like a rice, yeah. And when you come, we hard, put together, and everybody eat, and everything was good. The thing about it, what I love with you, if me give you no know, walk, go to eat. If me go no know, one dumpling, me satisfied. And if me go to no half, oh my God, nobody knows. You understand? I respect that a lot of you. It, 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 was, it was like lover. When I was in position and I have lover, things get done so bad with us. And one day, for a little piece of shadow. <laughs> shadow. Shadow. <laughs> and when we give you, yeah, me no want it. <laughs> me no want it. It's a good thing, yeah. Me no want it. And the landlord, have it to go in chicken leg. And give it to you. That's what you want, you know. Marlin, do it do me that thing already. <laughs> me no want this a tea. Pretty tea me want. From my little one, my little And what's the tea you was giving at the time? The black tea. <laughs> yeah, the meat. Me no want this. Pretty tea. So I drink the tea, I drink it, man. I drink it well. See, Marley. Did I drink it? Yes, you have to. If I slap you up bad for a true lover and do me that. And Marley in the minute, you know, so me no run to her. Yeah, and so in time you go to office. Oh my God, brother. When them do it, was problem, you know, I didn't have anything. Things was, we just take up the care of the world, mm -hmm. and things was looking good. Father was around, I was around working. But the tick licking is when Father high shot. Yes. Uh huh. So, so what, what, was, what was your reaction like? Even our reaction when, when, when Dad passed, oh, what was it? Oh, come here. Yeah, I can't even explain it. I tell you, it was so tough. But I had to be a mother for you, for both of you, away from Laverne, Marley, to be the Marlin and Joe and Timo. Them never, them never, you know, them get big, right. so them go one side. Right. Then you have Joel and Ryan learning trade. Joel stick to him trade, but Ryan don't stick to him trade. I give you a joke with Ryan one day to Ryan. Your father did go and live, you know. I mean, I want people to see me around the corner, run up and down, you know, have the trade. Go on your trade. And you put on my sins and have your problem and give down there. Huh? Me go take a piece of whip and I beat him like so. I can lick, lick out, you know. The piece of whip catch him somewhere about a year's corner and me tell him, say, my boy, I drop a bone and I'm in here. No nice. No nice on him. You know, say, me here. My sister come and say, how are you doing? I'm like, keep it, me kill him. I'm like, I'm here and get up and say, oh, me. I run, God, hear me, yes. And from that, I never even looked on her and said nothing. But listen to me. You never lick him again. Never lick him again. Yeah. True that he don't have a trade. So you learn from that then. So lick not really 
rally band. Your body, you know, and, you and, and if it's evil rally band, mm -hmm. you have to know where you put it. Right. I was so ignorant doing it. You, yeah. you know, sometimes just to talk to somebody even more powerful as uh, than licking them. Oh yes, but sometimes I don't listen to when I talk. I know what you're saying, but... Sometimes I don't listen. I know. Don't listen, you have to put a little touch up. I'm not really beating up the kill on your skin. But I have to put a little touch up at that. Thanks for that, that groomed me very well. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, I love that. And I said to my son and daughter, say, listen to me. You see street? Don't go on the street at night. No talk to no boy, make no boy a whisper in no ears and a draw, but no one a draw, draw, that no nice. Listen to me, son. Don't go on no wall. You see, on the wall, mm -hmm. it's police beat. Yes. Police come and see you know, on the wall, sit down, they shoot and kill light. Don't. And I don't have none up to now give me that problem. Mm -hmm. Not a girl, nor a boy. Shit, mommy, I'm for that. I love it for that. Okay. Thank you. I just want to say big up to all the mothers. You know, you have done well. I know you have been through the rough times, the good times, the bad times, all of that. And through it all, you still be the mom that you are today. I just want to say happy Mother's Day to you. Because mothers, you are very, very special and dearly to our heart. To groomers and mothers and the beautiful person that we are today. Love, 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 and respect. Blessed love from I-E-Y-E. -E. Love you all. Thank you.